If you're watching this, then you probably know what this is. Or at least you think you do. No, it's not just an ESP32. It's actually the new smallest WLED controller money can buy. And yeah, it's probably the easiest to use. Let me talk you through it. We've been making WLED controllers for a little while now, and all of them have supported a wide range of voltages, something that makes them super flexible and simple to use, as you don't have to worry about separately powering them from 5 volt USB. And because of this unique way of using them, we've become quite obsessed with making them as small as possible, so they can sit as neatly as possible on the beginning of a strip. And since other people are no doubt even more obsessed with getting the cleanest look possible, we decided to make a board that has nothing but the chip and WAGO connectors. And we still squeezed a mic on there for audio effects. Now this obviously means that they will only work when you're powering the strip from a dedicated power supply, but this is likely to be fine for most installs, as USB doesn't actually provide enough power for much over one meter of most strips anyway. And be aware that this means that unless you have one of these strange TC2030 cables, you won't be able to reflash them yourself, but they do all come with the final WLED version 15 installed and configured with audio reactive user mod already. So if you are someone who wants to play around with flashing different versions of the WLED software, you can always buy one of our existing USB boards instead. If you'd like to buy one of these boards, they are available on Amazon right now. The links are on my website. Just head to the homepage and click on get my Wi-Fi LED controller. And as always, thank you for watching and remember home is where the smart is.